Hi everybody, my name is Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And once again, we're coming to you from Independence Hall in Tel Aviv. Now, do you think there's a connection between standing with Israel and receiving the blessing of God? It is true that God said to Abraham, I will bless those who bless thee and those who curse you, I will curse. I'm thinking of the American president, Harry S. Truman, on May 14, 1948, that was the day that Israel would declare her independence. He didn't sleep very much the night before. And when he woke up that morning, he said to Clark Clifford, his top aide, he said, I kept seeing the face of Chaim Weitzman. Now, Chaim Weitzman would become our first president. And at that time, he was our primary diplomat traveling all over the world, meeting with world leaders. Clark Clifford turned to the president and he said, Mr. President, if you're going to recognize the state of Israel, you must do it today. They sent a letter over to the Jewish agency to a man by the name of Mr. Epstein asking for a letter asking them for formal declaration. And let me read you the letter that they sent back. Mr. President, it began, I have the honor to notify you that the state of, 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 they did not know the name of their new state yet. So they just wrote the Jewish state and Harry Zinder set off for the White House. By the time he got to the White House, actually two blocks away, it came over the radio that the name of the new state would be the nation of Israel. Well, Mr. Epstein, he sent a guy to catch Harry Zinder and before he got into the White House. And he took a pen and he marked out the words Jewish state and wrote in Israel. Now you have to understand how much courage it took the young President Truman to do this. He inherited the presidency from Roosevelt and he was surrounded by some pretty powerful guys like George Marshall, maybe the most powerful Secretary of State in the history of the United States of America. Have you heard of the Marshall Plan, the plan to rebuild Europe after World War II? That was the guy he had to stand up to. And Marshall had said to him, if you recognize Israel, I will not vote for you in the next election. Many years later, Clark Clifford would write about that fateful moment. Marshall's opposition was shared by almost every member of the brilliant and now legendary group of presidential advisors, later referred to as the wise men, who were then in the process of creating a post-war foreign policy that would endure for more than 40 years. It took courage for President Truman to recognize the state of Israel, and that he did. At the very same moment, United States representatives were in the United Nations preaching a new plan called trusteeship. They thought that the UN should take control of the land of Israel. At that moment, the United States ambassador received word that his boss, Truman, had recognized the state of Israel. He got angry and he went back to his hotel. And yet, here we are 70 years later. So going back to our original question, is there a connection between standing in Israel and the blessing of God? I know that the U.S. is not the most favorite country in the world, but one cannot deny the blessing that has been on the United States of America since that time in the 40s. Now make sure you go to God.tv so you never miss an episode. And you can find me at roncantor.com. Shalom from Independence Hall in Tel Aviv. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to god.tv forward slash Zion.